that's what we're going to be climbing today. This one is Roan High Knob. I'm all packed up. You know, someone pointed out in my gear video that the brain of this pack doesn't completely cover the top of it. And at first I thought, well, it's because I just had it stuffed so high that day, but um, I really don't today. I've got a day's worth of food left, or a day and a half, and uh, I squished things down pretty good in there. This isn't even the highest it's been. This is pretty relatively low and it doesn't completely cover the top. Well hello you are hiking with Jenny on the Appalachian Trail. Today's day 34 and I just left Iron Mountain, a little stealth site where I camped. It was really nice. Today I'm actually hoping to push it 16 miles today um, and I might go for the shelter that's there or I might stealth camp somewhere before that if I don't make it that far. It is 9 a.m. so getting an okay start today as you can probably tell it is nice and sunny again today and dry. Uh, not too windy right now so that's good although that could change later. Today we are going to be going up and over Rowan a mountain so that should be a pretty big climb but other than that the terrain it looks pretty easy so uh, i think it should be manageable we're um, gonna start out pretty easy and then probably like midway through the day start the climb it's gonna be a long climb and then uh, then it'll finish off easy once we get up on that ridge so I feel good I did my stretches I did my ankle exercises last night so that it would give my ankles a chance to heal up for today so I'm um, hoping for no falls today I wanted to talk about um, my speed actually um, so this kind of surprised me because I was trying to walk very carefully yesterday because of my ankles but I actually walked faster yesterday and I did a decent amount of climbing I think it was like maybe 3600 feet over the course of the day my average miles per hour is just under two and that's really good for me um, I'm actually quite impressed with that so I think I'm getting a little faster I'm not fast going up hills but I think my speed going up hills has improved, which is huge. That accounts for uh, some of my confidence today in getting up Rowan Mountain is, uh, I know I'm probably, hopefully, <laughs> not going to be dragging too much today. Talked to 2020 and Lone Star last night. Lone Star is two days ahead. I have no idea where 2020 is, probably like way ahead, but, um, yeah, it's nice to keep in contact with them and see how they're doing. Everyone seems to be doing really well. And I'm doing really well. I think I do much better when I kind of just make my own plan and I kind of just listen to my body and I camp where I want and stuff rather than try to camp with everyone else. I feel like whenever you're hiking around other people or camping with other people, there's like this competition aspect to it. It's just kind of natural. Or like, oh, like gotta be the, the first one out or the first one to the next shelter or something. And, ah, I don't, I just don't want to deal with that. I find that it, the hike is much more enjoyable to me when I'm not worrying about what other people are doing. And I'm just, just enjoying being out here and finding a great place to camp and enjoying my time. I 
started the climb up to Rowan High Knob and although it's a long climb, it's a little under five miles, it doesn't look very steep. Maybe 2,500 feet ascent within that five miles, so yeah, it's not too bad. I feel like I'm going through the whites right here. All the rocks and the ice and the pines. This looks like a like a water fountain actually. Yeah. That was pretty cool. They should like clean that up. Wow. A luxurious Cloudland Hotel. That's a good name for it. Hey, there's some stuff down there. This is a really cool location for a hotel. Oh, like we're coming up on kind of a room. Do you think that's part of the foundation over there? I think it's got to be. It's either an outbuilding or... Look at us, we just climbed up a 6,000 foot peak and now we're like doing a side excursion. <laughs> <laughs> Let's walk more. <laughs> we were like exhausted coming up, like I just want to get there. Now. So like I'm a structural engineer and I don't know why somebody would put pipe inside a rock wall. Decided to explore around the Cloudlands Hotel ruins a little bit. Table. I like stuff like this. They have a lot of stuff like this in New England where I'm from. Like um, back in the 19th century it was like a big thing where people would build like hotels and resorts like on top of mountains and you'd take like a train up to the top and just hang out at the hotel, enjoy the views. And uh, so that's that's what this is, and there's, amazingly, there is a huge parking lot up here, and I'm not sure why. I guess it's so you can tour the site, but, wow, <laughs> this is really cool. I mean, I guess, if nothing else, you can drive up here and have yourself a little picnic. I wonder if these trash cans are open. Let's find out. They are cool. This looks like a good place as any to have some lunch at a picnic table on top of a mountain. Bathrooms, unfortunately, are locked. That was a really fun side excursion, but now back to the trail. Had my lunch, so I'm a little more refreshed and I'm gonna continue we're kind of like I think like on a ridge sort of so probably should see some views as we go we're also we're up like 6200 feet right now so I, I would think it'd be like colder than it is it is pretty chilly but it's like 58 so only relatively so got the breeze going but it's not too bad. From what I've heard, it can get pretty nasty up here. Oh wow, so is this part of the hotel? Or is it a different building? Like maybe an old shelter site? Kind of a weird location, because it's not Totally flat around here. It would have had to have been a small building. Okay, so it's 3:11, and here are my options for tonight. Um, there is a tent site in 4.9 miles, which looks like a hammock could fit, and there's a shelter 0.7 after that but there might not be a lot of space for camping. So 
we'll have to just see but for now I got a couple hours of hiking left in me at least so I'll just keep walking for now I just took another bad fall Ugh. this one was worse than the one the other day That's gonna bruise. I guess AWOL and I have another thing in common. We both fall down a lot. I've lucked out that I haven't had any more serious injury though. Whoa. catching up to him anytime soon. And here's the North Carolina side. Wow. This is one of the best views so far. So cool. Absolutely incredible. I've been thinking how we've been kind of weaving in and out of North Carolina and Tennessee for a long time. And this area, well, it's like kind of almost at the end of North Carolina. It's kind of like a, a cool little like way to sum it all up. Cause you know, you've got like Tennessee on one side and you got North Carolina on the other side and you're just walking like right between. And this is kind of cool. It's a cool way to kind of like wrap it up. Despite how touristy this section is, uh, I gotta say, I think this is probably my favorite piece of trail so far on the trip. I found a spot right off the trail, but it looks like a good spot as any to set up my hammock. And uh, might get a little bit of sunset here in a little while. I don't know if you can hear that wind, but it's supposed to be wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour tonight. It started like right after, shortly after I got here and after I set up my hammock, it started blowing pretty good. So hopefully tonight goes okay. I'm just stealth camped like 0.2 south of the next shelter, which would have been Stan Murray shelter. And um, Scar is here with me as well. Hopefully this wind doesn't keep me up tonight. Today was a really good day of hiking. Uh, prob oh, probably maybe my favorite so far. It was really good. I loved it. <laughs> I, I ended up doing, I think, 16 miles today. So it was a good amount of hiking as well. Um, and I made pretty decent time today. Uh, started at 9, got here at 6. So that's 9 hours to do 16 miles. Not quite 2 miles an hour, but I also stopped a lot and just really took in the sights. So that was really cool. 
Thank you for watching and happy trails.